I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test problem for you on chain rule. You can pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my solution. So we are doing derivatives using chain rule. The function given to us is y equals to square root of 7x minus cube root of 5 minus 3x. You need to find its derivative, right? So, so that is to say what is dy dx of this particular function. So dy dx of this function will be, let me first write this in in exponent form, right? So it will be easier. So we have 7x minus 5 minus 3x. This is the third root, right? And everything is cube, square root, right? So that is how the function is. So we need to find d dx of this particular function. So outside function is half times the whole function, which is 7x minus 5 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of half minus 1 which is minus half times derivative of inside function which is 7x minus 5 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 3 right so that is how the chain rule works right so you start with the outside function and move inside correct so the first part we could write this as 1 over 2 this whole function this is what we have written here right so it is good to convert it back to the radical form so we have cube root of 5 minus 3x so that is a strategy you should always do this now derivative of this function is uh, we get 7 minus this is one third of 5 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 which is minus 2 over 3 right times derivative of inside function right so derivative of inside function is minus 3 so instead of getting one more step there what I will do is I will just write or let me write derivative of d dx of inside function which is 5 minus 3x okay let's do it right so that is fine so let's combine these terms. We have 1 over 2 square root of 7x minus cube root of 5 minus 3x. Right? Now here, uh, yeah, so, so what we have here is 7 minus 1 over 3, 5 minus 3x to the power of minus 2 over 3 times derivative of this is minus 3 right so so that is what we get right now we can kind of combine them so in the numerator we have 3 and 3 cancel out you get plus here so we could write this as 7 plus so on the numerator we have 7 plus and 5 minus 3 over x to the power of 2 over 3 so so it is 7 minus minus is plus so we could write this as 5 minus 3x to the power of minus 2 over 3 divided by 2 times square root of 7x minus cube root of 5 minus 3x right so that is how we could actually simplify it you could actually do 1 over 2 to the power of 3 and then multiply that by 7 and and move forward to simplify it further but the idea here is that whenever you are doing chain rule then how should you solve you should always start from outside and then move inside that is the strategy right so in the first part we we found derivative of this block square root of this block is 1 over square root of that block times times derivative of inside function do you see that and that is how we move from outside to inside and this is the strategy if you follow this instruct this strategy you should be in a position to get all your questions very easily thank you and all the best